Hey, I'm Steve with Prima Coffee, and today we're gonna to take a look at this thermocouple from Scase. So this was created by Greg Scase in the early 2000s, um, just a home espresso enthusiast who, who created this, uh, reading on forums and learning that there were a lot of machines uh, where the temperature was questionable. So even if you set the temperature, uh, for 97 degrees, for instance, Celsius here, uh, perhaps that wasn't the temperature that you were getting at the group head. Um, and so what he did was he created uh, this little uh, device here to measure accurately the temperature that was coming, uh, temperature of the water that was coming out, out of the dispersion screen. So we think this is predominantly going to be used for commercial purposes. Uh, so if you have a cafe, uh, and you have multiple cafes perhaps, and you wanna make sure the temperatures across uh, all of them are the same, uh, so that your coffee is tasting consistent, or if you have a machine like this, which is a multi-boiler machine, so there's a boiler for each individual group head, and you wanna make sure that those match, uh, and if not, you can set the offsets so that they do. It looks like a really rudimentary device, um, but it's, it, it does very complicated work. Uh, you have that 58 millimeter basket that'll fit in most commercial machines, your temperature probe right here, uh, your flow controller that, that uh, controls the amount of water that's going to be uh, released, because they're gonna need a certain amount of water in here to measure the stable temperature of that. Um, and this little plastic insert that is mimicking the well-prepared puck. The temperature reading on this is so precise that this is being used by competitions such as the World Barista Championship, uh, the United States Barista uh, Competition as well, um, to test the machines that are using competition to make sure they're standard across the board. So honestly, this is being used because temperature for espresso is extremely important. Uh, if temperature is too high, you're probably gonna have a bitter shot. If temperature is too low, you're gonna, you're gonna find those sour shots. Um, and if you have a commercial you know, enterprise, you're really gonna wanna make sure that you get the right temperature. Your customers are getting the best tasting espresso for the coffee you have. So you take this, you can see on here, it is, it reads on here, you can see the T. So this is a type T, you're gonna need the digital thermometer that accepts the type T, not all of them do. So make sure um, you get the one that does. You can thread your wire through the bottom of the porta filter. Okay. And then you can drop your basket in, put it in just like you would any other bottomless porta filter. So now we're in there and we can put it in our machine. Okay. Uh, and then you're gonna need to take this and fit it into the digital thermometer. So it'll start reading that temperature in real time. Um, because it hasn't been used, obviously it's gonna be kind of cold right now, that basket. So I'm gonna run some water through, but you can just see kind of how this works. That flow restrictor keeps a really low flow coming out of there. Um, so that there is a good amount of water, it's still accepting new water, but not a lot, on top of that temperature probe, so that it's getting a really accurate reading of the water coming out of the dispersion screen, which is going to be your brew water. Um, so, you see there, there's our reading. Temperature is at 90, about 93. Um, so this is, because of the way that this is uh, designed, uh, about 25 to 30 seconds, you're gonna get what is going to be probably the amount of water going into an espresso shot. So you run it for about 30 seconds, uh, and, and that temperature is gonna be pretty accurate for what you're gonna get in your, in your coffee. Um, if you have the fluke, you can actually go into um, in here and set it so that you want your averages. Uh, and so we'll turn it off and turn it back on. And immediately, when you get to that average, it'll start reading in real time uh, and forever. There's a timer. It'll show the, the average over the time that you're recording. So we'll go there, 25 seconds, somewhere around there. Uh, and we were right there almost to 95. Um, but we've got our temperature here set at 96, so we know we're off by about a degree. So we'd probably go in here and set that offset. So that is the Scase Thermocouple device. You can find this online at primacoffee.com. Thanks for watching.